In this video, we're gonna walk through how to create any workflow you can imagine in NAN using Claude. So first, we're gonna start with a handy prompt. I'll drop this in the description below, but I also recommend installing a text expander browser extension. So you can just type like NAN like that, and it replaces it with this, uh, this prompt. So all this prompt is doing is basically saying, give me a JSON file that I can import into NAN. It's obviously got lots of like things to ensure it's formatted correctly, but in a JS, that's all it's doing. So we need to describe what we want. So for this case, I'm gonna say, create a workflow that takes a, well, that observes a Notion database and pass, summarizes it using an AI model. Uh, let's go open Anthropic and then sends me an email if there are any actions in the Notion page. See how that goes. Cool. So we'll hit go and we'll let Claude do its thing. And this is so much quicker to do it this way because instead of going into NAN and like adding lots of nodes, connecting them all together, you can just get all of the JSON just automatically. You can then download it once it's ready and then I'll show you in a second how we can import that and get that all up and running. Okay, so it's all done. So all we need to do now is download that JSON file. Then we can go over to NAN. And up here on the right where we've got the three dots, we can just click that, click import from file. And what is it? It's this one, 151. We can import it and we can see it's built our workflow. All we now need to do is go into any of the nodes that require us to add in API keys, um, do authentication and just ensure that's all um, all connected. So we'd obviously have to go in here, add things like our Notion key. Now there's some things where here, for example, like I wonder whether this would actually make more sense if we could just do this like as a Notion ac action. Um, get a database. So some things not gonna be not totally perfect, like that probably makes sense to do that instead. However, I'm not too unhappy because even just kind of getting the logic out, this is obviously quite a simple workflow, but you could do some really, really complex stuff and just not having to um, go through and do that all manually is just gonna save you a lot of time. So yeah, that's how we do that. I hope that's been useful and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.